What is going on social media world out there? Lamont on the run today. We are in Paris, Texas. Paris, Texas is about a hundred miles north of Dallas. So I was here in town uh, doing a quick video, thinking about doing it a longer video. But the weather today is a little bit, a little bit cold. It's about 40 degrees right now and it's just about starting to drizzle a little bit so quickly before it starts hopefully not pouring but before it starts raining anymore I wanted to talk about a story that I read a couple weeks ago online and uh, that is uh, well basically it's a story about fat people now I love uh, fat people because I'm one of y'all I'm one of y'all. But this story isn't just about regular fat people. It's about fat people who not only accept being fat, they like being fat, dare I say love being fat, and proudly accept being fat and brag about being fat, and they're just, they love being fat. I don't know why, I don't, they do. So this story is about also Southwest quote unquote fat policy. So basically we're gonna break it down like this. Southwest has an unspoken policy of being what certain people call fat friendly. Allow me to explain. Let's say you are a rotundus person, right? And you know, a normal person can fit into an airline seat. Now I call myself fat, but I can still fit fine in a airline seat. But many people around the country and the world, they don't fit into a regular size airline seat because they're fat. So Southwest has a policy that's been active for about 30 years now, where if you are too heavy to fit in one seat, uh, they will basically, <laughs> give you a second seat, preferably one right close to you, like by you next to you, and you don't have to pay anything extra. But it comes at a price. The price not being that the fat person is paying, it's the price of the person sitting next to that person having to give up that seat, possibly even being allowed to, uh, not allowed to fly on that flight. So let's say I'm on an airplane and I'm going to New Jersey. If there is a rotundous person next to me, their policy states that I have to give up my seat for this person to be allowed the extra comfort that they so command. And if that flight is sold out, well, I am SOL. And many fat people on social media, they're celebrating this, they're glorifying this. Uh, you have one uh, TikToker who goes by the name of Bowberry VIP. They have 300,000 followers. Whoa. See that truck. She is bragging about this. She is all in for this. And another, I guess you call these people fat influencers, Jalen Cheney. She uh, is an apostrophe person. J A E apostrophe. L-Y-N-N, -N. quote, I want as many people to know about this policy as possible so that all people of all sizes, especially those of us living in large bodies and super fat bodies are aware of the policy. Okay, so these fat influencers, they're, uh, they're wanting the message to be spread that not only is it okay to be fat, but they embrace being fat and they want all fat people to know that, hey, all you have to do is contact the ticket agent at Southwest Airlines and say, hey, I'm pretty big as you can see and I need a second seat. And they have to give you a second seat is their policy. Now, this isn't just also fat people this is people that are really muscular just really big people i you know i don't know somebody should test the waters i don't know if this uh goes for tall people too 
Like, can you stretch out your feet into the next aisle and you have to clear everybody out? I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. Do you guys think that Southwest really wants this story going viral? Do you think Southwest really, really wants like every single person that is rotund to come to their airline so they have to suck up a, a, a seat? Because mind you guys, some of these seats, we're talking about $350 seats. You know what I mean? So Southwest, they're losing money when they're losing a seat. And the only way Southwest makes money, and the reason why they're probably the, the most successful airliner is because they keep planes up in the air. And they sell as many seats as possible, but if you're gonna have these you know, fat influencers boasting about this nonsense, that it's okay to be fat. Now listen, you embrace your body, you do whatever you want, you know what I mean? If you wanna sit around and be a glutton all day and exert hardly any energy and taking massive amounts of calories and you're okay with it that's totally fine but you know in the foreseeable future we will be doing stories on my other channel about these fat influencers that are no longer with us because well their lifestyles are pretty much what has caused their early demises or demise whatever you want to call it so i guess we'll see what happens with this story uh i'm looking forward to uh reading anything more about these fat influencers not dying but just them i don't know what their with their fat positivity or their fat stuff i i have no idea i guess we're gonna see anyways Tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think that it's a bunch of hogwash? No pun intended. Do you guys think that it's a good idea for Southwest to have this unspoken fat policy stating that it's okay for, um, you know, people to be thrown out of their seats just so uh, a, a large person could have a little bit of extra space? I love how there's a picture of one of these people <laughs> wearing a mask. I think a mask is the least of your health problems, just saying. And I know a lot of times being overweight, uh, it's a lot of times it's not necessarily their sedentary lifestyle, but oftentimes it is. It's, it's a lot of bad habits that need to be broken. And I know because I have these bad habits myself. It ain't easy being cheesy. All right, guys, let me know. Leave a comment below. I am out of here. See you on the next one. Peace out.